So in the last class, we have already seen the topics of uh, web mining. That means we are mining the required content from the web while browsing the web like this. So under that, uh, we have discussed some uh, uh, concepts of web mining, like uh, web content mining, web structure mining, web usage mining. So where in web content mining, we generally, that is uh, regarding mining of all the content, like uh, which includes text images, uh, uh, some hyperlinks, etc., etc. This already we have uh, seen an example. We have uh, just opened the page here at the engineering college. There you can find different, different data. So uh, mining, that mining process, that mining of the content from the web is nothing but the web mining. Similarly, that structure mining. Structure mining deals with the uh, sequence of the hyperlinks. So the user uh, from which website he is going to redirect to which, which page. Uh, for example, if you open some CRA college, there you can, uh, uh, suppose we want to know the placements, there you can click the play placements and uh, the page is redirected to placements. And from that, if you want to uh, go for the specific company details, you can again uh, click the hyperlink there and you can go to the, go to the, so the clicks, sequence of the clicks. Sequence of the hyperlink clicks is, uh, can be uh, can be mined. So that kind of mining process comes under web structure mining. So everything uh, behind it, why we are mining the web content, uh, uh, that means not from the user side, so from the developer side, why they are needed, uh, which uh, websites are user uh, uh, refer and which uh, hyperlinks are, uh, uh, what is the hyperlink path of the user uh, 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 user associated with uh, like this, they, all that information is needed for the developers, not for actually, not for us. Why? Because they can, uh, based on based on based on making some anal analytics on that data, they can improve their business. That the, those all kinds of topics we have already discussed in the last class. So, and third one, web users mining. Here also, web users mining everything. So, how many hours? Uh, that means from which IP address a particular user is. Uh, uh, browsing the web and uh, uh, how may, at what time he is uh, interacting with the particular website and up to how many uh, how many minutes or how many hours he, he is going to uh, interact with the particular website and after that he is going to interact with what other websites all that history of the browsing history of the user that means the uh, it is a way of mining the usage uh, usage the patterns of the user. So this is done with the log information. So some uh, logs are there which records all the uh, all the usage patterns of the user, and uh, this web users mining mines the information from the log and makes an analytics to identify the usage patterns of the user. Since uh, since this is the last chapter, this is the sixth uh, chapter. Here everything till now we have dealing with some data mining, data warehousing methods, right? Different uh, clustering algorithms we have seen and different classification algorithms we have seen like this. So now it, it's uh, time to um, collect all, uh, uh, time to utilize all the collective knowledge to enhance the business. So our topic is, our subject is data warehousing and business intelligence. So how this data warehousing and data mining method will be helpful for improving the business. So in that aspect, we are going to move in this particular chapter. So this is all we have discussed. Uh, again, web content mining, we have unstructured mining, semi-structured mining, multimedia mining, etc. And similarly, web use mining also we have discussed. And this is the overall summary of the three uh, taxonomy. And uh, uh, we have also discussed in the last class that automatic classification of the web documents. That uh, first, what is the web class and classification of web documents? What is meant by that? That means whenever we are going to browse the particular uh, page, uh, first based on a keyword, for example, you are going to browse based on a keyword. Based on that keyword, it is first initially classified. That either that is a suppose in the last class I have, I have already already told that if I if I want to browse the pen, here is an example. If I want to browse the pencil, so it is the comes under the uh, group of uh, some writing tools. And also, it comes under the group, uh, group of some sanitary items, stationary items, sorry, some stationary items. So, automatically, whenever you enter the keyword pencil, so all the documents regarding the pencil, all the documents with the name, some writing items, all the documents with the name, stationary items, all those documents can be retrieved, can be mined. 
so this uh, is done automatically while uh, user is going uh, user is searching the searching for a particular uh, space and here comes the applications here comes the applic different applications regarding the data um, data warehouse how in the in digital synthesis so how these techniques we have uh, uh, till now discussed how this uh, techniques can be helpful for improving the business so different uh, different different applications we have uh, in our uh, syllabus so uh, balanced score cards so that means how uh, this data mining and data warehousing techniques can be helpful for improving the business in balanced score cards regarding that and how we can uh, make the fraud detection using this technique and in click stream mining market segmentation retail industry that is how these uh, techniques can be helpful to into the retail industry similarly telecommunications industry banking and finance so in particularly in banking how the data mining and data warehousing techniques can be helpful for improving the banking enhancing the ba banking and finance sector and coming to the last one crm customer relation management how it can be improved by uh, going through the by associated with the mining and data warehousing techniques we will see all uh, one by one to the first one that is retail industry so the retail industry is a major application area we already know that retail industry is right? retail industry is uh, a wholesale retail two kinds are there wholesale is the they can um, all this regarding to the provisional stores especially retail industry is a, is regard provisional store where wholesale industry is the that is uh, uh they can supply goods uh, bulk in bulk and not they can uh, they can't supply the loose loose goods they can supply the goods in bulk and so we are in in the in the application uh, of retail industry so how this data mining and data warehouse technique can be helpful for improving the business in retail industry so this is somewhat associated with the market basket market basket analysis we have already uh, go through the right in our third chapter so like that how this can be helpful for improving the business especially in retail industry so first of all uh, what is the retail industry and after that we will go through the go through the go, go to the go to solution how it is uh, how the data mining techniques can be helpful for improving the retail industry so the retail industry is a major application area for data mining since it collects huge amounts of data on sale customer uh, shopping history goods transaction consumption and service the quantity of data collected continues to expand rapidly so we have the in retail industry to improve their business what they actually need they need all this information like uh, huge amounts of um, customer shopping history they want and goods uh, transportation regarding the consumption of the goods regarding the services provided all this information they want actually to improve their business so why why it is needed customer uh, shopping history we already uh, deal with this in the market basket analysis because if at all you know the shopping history if at all you know that the customer who buys the bread also willing to buy the jam then what happen automatically in stores they can uh, place the they can organize the store accordingly they can place the uh, place such kind of items together so that a new customer if at all he visited the shop he only wants to buy the bread uh by seeing the jam itself he automatically takes the jam on like that they can improve their business like the different other ways are also there so to improve the retail industry business they, are, they want all this information what is uh, what are the services provided what is the rate of consumption of the particular product like that so since uh, there are vast amount of uh, data available so manually they can't uh, check whether what the two items are associated together like that all the details they can't manually check so for that they need the data mining techniques to mine the required data and to analyze the data and to give the required output so retail data mining how it can be helpful so if you, if you apply data mining on the retail industry it become retail data mining so how it will be helpful me to identify customer buying behavior so discover customer shopping lalita madam class class so to identify customer buying behavior discover uh, customer patterns and trends improve the quality of the customer service achieve better uh, customer retention and satisfaction 
enhanced boost consumption ratios, uh, design more effective boost transportation and distribution policies, and to reduce the cost of the business. So to do all these things, we we need the data mining technique. We need the retail data mining. So here, uh, construction of the coming to the construction of the data warehouses for the uh, uh, retail data uh, retail industry. So based on the levels of details included. So suppose uh, based on the purpose of the data mining, actually you can construct the data warehouse for that particular application. So if my data mining task is suppose all these are the data mining tasks. If my data mining task is to um, let us uh, let us say this one. If my task is to reduce the cost of the business, cost in the sense includes all the things like uh, uh, labor cost, transportation cost, etc., etc. So, if at all my uh, purpose of data mining is like this, I can construct the data warehouse only by including the corresponding dimensions. Different dimensions are there for every application. So, for example, if you consider this application, uh, the required dimensions are nothing but the cost dimension, time dimension, transportation dimension, like this. So, I can construct the one can construct the data warehouse based on the levels of details needed for a particular application. So this involves deciding which dimensions and levels to include and what not to include like that. So coming to the multi-dimensional analysis of sales, all these things, customer time, products. So all these are the different different dimensions exist in the retail industry. So the retail industry requires timely information regarding all these things, regarding the sales activity, regarding the customer activity, uh, regarding the product, regarding the time of delivery of the product like this, regarding the region of sales. Suppose if a product, some product is there and its sales is uh, very high at particular region and uh, its sales is very low at particular region. So sales here in that aspect, sales is automatically linked to the region also. If you consider the product test, its sales is high at particular region, its sales is low at particular region. Suppose here the situation is here you have a product A and it sales is high at particular region and with a particular season only. Suppose uh, let's consider sweaters. Sales of sweaters is high at Wooty, maybe at all times. So sales of sweaters is high in AP at which season? Winter season. So like that, if at all the item sales is regarded, regard, I mean, uh, related to the time also, we need to consider these three dimensions. So like that, you can perform multi-dimensional analysis. So to to analyze uh, in a better way, you can go for you can uh, go with the visualization tools. So using visualization tools like OLAP technique, OLAP technique is there, right? You can project the data into the cubical format. There you can analyze the data much better with the, because multiple dimensions you can be able to get at the same time. So like this uh, here, analysis of the effectiveness of sales campaigns. What are the sales campaigns you know? We already know how, how, they, uh, how the uh, marketing people can promote their sales through advertisements, through distributing the coupons on various kinds of uh, 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 offering some discounts and offering some bonuses like that, right? So here we need to first analyze what is the analysis here. So you are giving uh, that means the marketing people are giving some uh, uh, sales campaign, providing some sales campaign. First we need to analyze the effectiveness and then analyze the effectiveness of the sales campaign is also needed here. And for that analysis also we need the data mining technique. So why it needed to analyze that? Advertisements, uh, advertisements, uh, uh, coupons, uh, distributors, someone uh, enough. Uh, promote challenge the product key. So, what here saying that we need to perform some analysis on top of all those. Why we need to perform analysis? Because we need to know, uh, we need to have a comparison with the sales before and after the campaign. Suppose, we are going to sales change in our situation. We are going to institute well in our institution. We are going to register. They will ask us. Even hospitals well in our institution. How do you know this? How do you know about about us? So through advertisement bar of Enskunara, Din Burinchi. Lay on the friends bar of Enskunara. Lay on the paper loose with her. So they can they can note down that. So if many many people said that I can uh, to reach you, uh, that means I know about this through the paper advertisement. 
so they came, they came for the analysis they came for the conclusion what's the conclusion so paper ad padam a product ki particular product ki edanta particular company ki gaani tentena sare paper ad add ibadam anedi best thing compared to others so suppose all these are the ways they they can promote their goods suppose coupons uh, some discounts nayan telisi evaraina shop ku vellaru suppose discounts valla shop ki evaru raaledu only advertisement chuste vacharu anukondi discounts chestar so dan valla benefit em ledhu kabatti so everything should be need to be analyzed to enhance the business so for that kind of analysis we want the data mining to be and customer retention and also so customer loyalty so here uh, the purchase trends of the customer goods purchased at different periods by the same customer can be grouped to into sequences so what what is to be grouped here what is to be grouped here goods purchased at different periods by the same customer suppose customer x is there while b they can generally many stores ask you the phone number regarding the customer customer name and phone number while billing is the voice is visible voice is audible yes ma'am okay screen is also visible yes ma'am yes ma'am so here uh, customer retention so here we need to uh, goods purchased at, we need to uh, analyze purchase patterns of the customer so here goods at different periods by the same customer can be grouped into sequence why we need to group uh, group that why we, why we need to group that uh, into the sequence so here customer x is there and he purchased so and so item uh, in jan for example and he again listed in feb and he purchased some so and so item he uh, they have to some a here and he purchased b in the february and next he visited the store in the march and he purchased some c item they need to link all these goods information and they need to analyze is there any common items are there or is there any seasonal items are there based on the month is he issues is he uh, choosing something like that they need to uh, they need to collect all the goods information regarding a particular uh, customer so they need to group that into sequence and sequential pattern mining here they can be imposed on that and they can mine the they can make some analytics so is there any uh, any particular item is repeated in every month of his uh, purchase or is there any seasonal item is there so if at all he, they identified any seasonal item suppose if at all it is uh, uh, for example it is may at a very, at that time he is used to purchase more rice creams like cool drinks like that so that is an item so they used to uh, increase the quantity of that products in their store so like that different different uh, take every for every act for everything every step they have to uh, go with the associated with the data mining tasks to improve their business so here product recommendation and cross uh, referencing of items this we all know that product recommendation in the sense if at all uh, it is observed that based on this this sequence uh, sequential pattern mining based on the uh, goods based on the goods uh, purchased by the customer throughout the throughout different periods if they, are, they observed that digital camera if at all the person buys a digital camera uh, in association with that they use it to if they use it to buy another item they can recommend that if at all a person uh, uh, bought that store people are there right they they use it to recommend the customer sir whether you want to you are interested to buy the cam uh, uh, cover or if you, if you uh, want to interest if you are interested to buy the camera stand like that they can they use it to recommend 
recommend the goods like that so here product recommendations can also be uh, advertised on sales receipts in weekly flyers are there you can find in your newspaper or on the web to help improve customer service like that so those product recommendations can be or can also be done here by all the people so for this also to recommend a product or to cross reframe an item also you want the data mining technique behind it to analyze the purchase uh, uh, customer buying uh, buying uh, habits right so here telecommunications industry and till now we have discussed with the uh, discussed uh, associated with the retail industry so how retail industry can be helpful not retail industry how mining or uh, data mining techniques can be helpful for improving the business in the retail industry that uh, till now we have discussed now we are with the so we are with the telecommunications industry so the telecommunication industry in telecommunication industry how this data mining technique can be helpful to improve the business so even you know and there is a story just for that only we are going to learn and only in the theory part we will not have to know about it only that is only theory theory topic in the last unit you know that theory topic we are just going to know about it but we will be exam time only easy only ఒక టూ టూ త్రీ పాయింట్స్ చూసుకుని మీరు ఎలాబరేట్ చేసి ఓన్గా రాయగలుగుతారు ఇక్కడ వెళ్ళేది అనుకోండి మళ్ళీ అది అందుకే చదువుకోవాలి అవసరం ఉంది చెప్పండి సో చక్కగా వినండి చెప్తున్నప్పుడు సో హియర్ దట్ ద టెలికమ్యూనికేషన్ మార్కెట్ ఈస్ ర్యాపిడ్లీ ఎక్స్పాండింగ్ అండ్ హైలీ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఆల్రెడీ నోట్ అట్ రైట్ సో దిస్ క్రియేట్స్ ఎ గ్రేట్ డిమాండ్ ఫర్ దిస్ క్రియేట్స్ ఎ గ్రేట్ డిమాండ్ ఫర్ డేటా మైనింగ్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు హెల్ప్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద బిజినెస్ ఇన్వాల్వ్ identify telecommunication patterns catching fraudulent activities so here you can identify where it is needed actually where the data mining techniques is needed in uh, telecommunications industry in the sense to identify telecommunication patterns to identify telecommunication patterns to catch the fraudulent activities to make better uh, use of the resources available and to improve the quality of the service so for all these things we need the data mining techniques for telecommunication industry so multi dimensional coming to the multi dimensional analysis of telecommunication data so why we need to analyze the multiple dimensions of the telecommunication data so here what are the multiple dimensions in the sense uh, calling time duration location of the caller location of the callee all these are the multiple dimensions we have in uh, telecommunication data so sometimes we need to analyze all the things at a time for that we need to go for the multi dimensional analysis so uh, why it is used in the sense to identify and compare the data traffic system work resource usage user uh, group behavior and uh, etc etc to do all the things we need the multi dimensional analysis and again for this for doing this multi dimensional analysis we go for a oip technique that means we are again going for the data mining technique so like this. so i'm coming to the fraudulent pattern analysis and uh, and the identification of the unusual pattern so here uh, to identify potentially fraudulent users and their uh, typical users can detect attempts to gain fraudulent entry to customer accounts and discover unusual patterns that may need their special attention so there's a uh, busy hour stressed at all attempts such a routine congestion path so many of these patterns can be discovered by multi dimensional analysis discovered by multi dimensional analysis cluster analysis and out share analysis if at all a fraud is uh, if at all some fraudulent activity is happened through phones only for example so in order to catch that activity in order to analyze that activity we want this uh, data mining technique so coming to the multi dimensional association and sequential pattern analysis so this can be used to promote telecommunication services so for example suppose you would like to find the usage patterns of a set of communication services by customer group by month and by time of the day you want to identify that suppose how many customers are interested to talk in midnight how many what are the customer groups that means how many customers what kinds of customers kinds in the sense what is the customer name what is the age what is the uh background of the customer like so what is his designation so based on that they can make some customer groups so which group of customers suppose the customers with uh, uh age group of uh, uh, 15 to 25 use it to talk in midnight for example 
that means they can analyze that they can understand that we can announce some offers we can announce some offers like a, a talk time offer which can be available in midnight only similarly they can understand that if, if they find that the customer with the a uh, some um, uh, some 30 to 35 years or 30 to 40 years who are doing some software jobs are interested to talk in midnight that to with the uh, foreign uh, uh, country that means they have some client calls if at all they uh, analyze the analyze the data and if at all they conclude like this so they come from that since they are uh, software employees they need some customer uh, uh, client calls they need to uh, attend so regarding that they can provide some offer some attract to offer to attract those customers so all these things all these uh, for all these things we need the data mining techniques and coming to the mobile telecommunication services so mobile telecommunication web and uh, information services and mobile uh, computing are becoming increasingly integrated common in our work and life right so one important feature of mobile telecommunication data is its association with the spatial temporal information so spatial temporal data mining may become essential for finding certain patterns right so whenever you are dealing with the mobile communication spatial temporal imagery it is dealing with the space that means it is dealing with the region at the same time it is dealing with the time also suppose i, I have a region in it and i am in the ap only i can't get i can't uh, uh, that means i i'm not uh, forced to pay the extra additional charges for the call so if if at all i am uh, going uh, some long longer distance the name of the roaming if at all i am uh, um under bond through this so i need to pay some uh, i get get some in intimation you are uh, uh, some roaming charges may be applicable to you because you are uh, beyond the boundaries of our uh, uh, of our region like that they told right so with the with in regarding to the telecommunication services we need to deal with what we need to deal with the uh, spatial temporal information so to analyze that we want the we can go with the spatial temporal data mining approach So all these are the different data mining approaches, but we don't go through go go through all these things, right? We only deal with the only few association mining approaches. Uh, a few we have discussed, and a few clustering methods we have discussed. A few uh, classification methods we have discussed because our our time is limited, and based on the syllabus only we need to proceed. But other than that, we have many lot of data mining techniques available. so every data mining technique can be helpful for different kinds of uh, improving the business in this, uh, different ways so similarly we can go with the visualization methods uh, voilet visualization technique linkage visualization association visualization etc to improve the business so coming this is about the telecommunication business and coming to the banking and finance so how banking and finance improve their business by associated with the data mining technique so here most banks and finance financial institutions offer a wide variety of banking such as checking and uh, savings account the credit uh, and investment services different different banking services are associated with them. so how we can design and construct data warehouses for multi dimensional data analysis and data mining how we can construct the data warehouses so the data warehouses are needed for banking and financial data especially multi dimensional data analysis method should be used to analyze the general properties of the data for example one may like to view the debit and revenue changes by month by region so if you want if you want to uh, look into that data by month and by region at the same time you can go with the multi dimensional data analysis so this we have already covered in your first or second unit also so data warehouse is data cube multi uh, multi feature and uh, discovery driven data cube characterization and class comparison and outlier analysis all play a vital role in financial data analyzing and mining so coming to the loan payment prediction and customer credit policy analysis so here data mining methods such as attribute, attribute selection attribute relevance ranking we all we all uh, know, know about this method right may help identify important factors and eliminate irrelevant ones so if, if you want to deal with the concept of loan payment regarding the in the banking and finance sector so which methods can be helpful here is first we need to deal with the attribute selection and attribute relevance method because they have different attributes regarding the loan payment like the loan to value short terms of the loan debit ratio payment to income ratio 
like this they have different different attributes uh, are there regarding the loan sale so out of all these based on the purpose suppose based on uh, for analyzing the customer the payment history for example this is the uh, purpose whatever the dimensions you want you want only pay to income dimension ratio uh, is needed we don't we don't want other uh, dimension so for that you need to go with the attribute selection attribute relevance level so out of all lot many number of attributes which particular attribute is helpful which particular attribute is relevant to this context so you if you want to know that you you want to go with the, you need to go with this attribute selection and attribute relevance level so if you, if at all the customer uh, the bank want to um, grant loan so before that they need to analyze the uh, loan uh, loan data so which kind of customers can pay the uh, what what we can call monthly monthly payments can uh, can properly give the monthly payments to the bank while taking the loan which kind of customers are not uh, uh, not at deal with their loan once once they have uh, taken the loan they don't pay that monthly they need to pay some amount right some installment uh, installment pay they need to pay something some customers pay need to need to pay to bank right so a customers to proper the loan pay chest a customers pay chest elanti customers pay chest so our data and analyze chest under so if at all a new customer uh, visits the bank so based on his uh, background so what is his age and what is his education what is his income based on that they have already some customer group uh, group say so if at all that customer belongs to the good group of customers like loan pay chest taru ilanti group ane group ki chendina vaadaithe adan physical loan ister if at all he, he belongs to he seems to be a different kind so they hesitate to provide the loan and they are putting some other constraints like that so classification and clustering of customers for targeted marketing so here classification and the clustering heads can be used for customer group identification and targeted marketing so here customers with similar uh, behavior regarding loan payments may be identified and multi dimensional clustering by multi dimensional clustering technique so these can help identify customer groups associate a new customer with an appropriate customer group and facilitate target Uh, targeted marketing. What is this targeted marketing? First of all, what is the marketing in case? If I am saying that the bank finance and bank law marketing is going to be, is it a business? How many of you can agree? Is it a business? Banking or finance or a business? Like that. While in the pet corner, service is a career. So, what are the uh, marketing? And the MME different uh, even like what you know, banking law marketing. Some of these are very different. Low average share of a that is a kind of marketing. That is a kind of business providing the loan is a loan. So many these kinds of money, that means you have a lot of benefit of the customer to loan this kind of money. That is a kind of business. And next, suppose fixed deposit page for the customer. So that is a kind of business. And because of all the money, amount is no, bulk amount less than the all the interest generated. That is a kind of business. Having a Customer account, different different customers. A bank loan account, which is not only that is also a way of getting the money for them, right? When I'm not, I am on bills to income, bills to income. That is that <clears throat> our money can be useful for them to improve some other business. So all these are the different kinds of uh, businesses. So a business key market, a uh, business key, a lot of customers to select just one. Suppose here also again, I am considering the loan example. So based on the targeted marketing, they need to identify the customer groups. Suppose if it is targeted marketing, loan some kind of different uh, business is open. Loan so that account fees for so that a bank account creates so for that fixed deposit payment interest rate so that so even if you are a business like bank is some kind of. So here it is. Uh, target uh, suppose the targeted marketing is the loan so while we need to identify the group of customers elanti customers ku manaki loan ku correct ga pay cheyagalaru elanti income unna customers pay cheyagalaru alanti customer group ni identify cheyante vaala call chestu untaru because manaku kuda chaala saru nachuntayi men loan so bank ni chestam meekaina loan interest evariki padithe vaala cheyaru so first 
based on the targeted marketing they need to identify the respective uh, customers and they from that they can able to improve their business ela identify chestaru ante again they need some clustering and classification techniques for that so here uh, detection of money laundering and other financial crimes some edana financial crime jarigindi ante vijay mall ilanti vaatle ite detect cheyaledu ani inkonjam chinna so vaati ni alanti vaati ni detect cheyalante kuda ela use avutundi ee data mining techniques ni data warehouse techniques so so to detect money laundering and other financial crimes it is important to integrate information from multiple databases as long as they are potentially related to the trade so they need to first integrate the multiple databases regarding that so generally aim of me okadu oka particular person oka bank lo oka bank oka branch lo any account create chest loan is kodam edu chest and next adhe person vere pair match koni vere aadhar card ni edu create chest nadu photo tho vere aadhar card create chest kon vere bank lo kodam ledante adhe bank lo vere branch ni account tho iskoni loan is kodam edu chest so different different plates ay avadam valle em avutundi ante possibility of making the crime perigundi so dan ke challenge we need to integrate the data uh, data at different uh, branches or different banks so integrate cheyadam valla photo match avadamu aadhar card match avadamu edo oka doubt undi kada so akada we can able to identify so here to detect money laundering and other financial crimes it is important to integrate information from multiple databases as long as they are potentially limited to the state so here multiple data analysis tools can then be used to detect unusual patterns such as large amounts of cash flow at certain period by certain groups of customers like it so what are what are the useful tools for that um, our integration chase and let's say ali at the last of data ni we have different uh, tools for that available in data warehouse and data mining techniques that is data visualization tools are there linkage analysis tool classification clustering outlier analysis sequential pattern analysis so etc they they can be useful to do that so these tools may identify important some here outlier analysis specific ela use avutundi suppose nenu eppudu na account lo every month is suppose my uh, debit to my account is uh, approximately 30000 in every month suppose nenu oka particular month 30 lakhs nenu debit chesanu na account lo is that a, is that an outlier or not if a person got 30000 as a salary in every month but suddenly in one month he got some from 30 lakh amount is that a outlier or not just yes, sir no respond please is that a kind of outlier or not no is that a kind of outlier or not my voice is visible right Mm, is that a kind of outlier or not? Yes, ma'am. Outlier? Why? Because after the uh, every month, at an account lo transfer a amount uh, uh, fifty rupees ni loan the okay sir amount ni thirty lakhs amount or chhoda purki some odd functionality we can observe uh, in in his data. So which seems to be a outlier? Then uh, one need to be. the bank people need to be enquire about that aakashini hadra chusara dantra sir surya phone off cheyyo endukosu me okay sari chaala mandi deposit chestar amount vaalla village people vanta amount deposit chestar so okay sari ant amount pay padipothe actually ga vaalla antaru maul ga ite nen police ki inform cheyali nu telisina vaadi kabatti neeke cheptunnan direct ga so it's an outlier okay sari ant tana account anta ila undi okay sari high aithe em avutundi it seems to be an outlier సో అక్కడ యాక్షన్ తీసుకోవాలి ఎందుకు వచ్చింది ఏంటి ఏదైనా ఫ్రాడ్ చేశాడా సడన్ గా అనే యాక్షన్ తీసుకోవాలి అక్కడ సో దానికి కూడా అవుట్లైర్ అనాలిసిస్ అంటే అగైన్ ఫర్ దట్ ఆల్సో యు కెన్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద డేటా మైనింగ్ అండ్ డేటా వేర్ హౌసింగ్ టెక్నిక్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఫోర్త్ అప్లికేషన్ సిఆర్ఎం సిఆర్ఎం ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద సిఆర్ఎం ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద కస్టమర్ రిలే మేనేజ్మెంట్ దట్ మీన్స్ హౌ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రిలేషన్ అమౌంట్ డిఫరెంట్ కస్టమర్స్ హౌ వీ డీల్ విత్ ద కస్టమర్స్ సో కస్టమర్ డేటా అని పెట్టుకోవడం బిజినెస్ కి ఎంత అవసరం సో వీటన్నిటితో సిఆర్ఎం డీల్స్ విత్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మచ్ టు రిఫ్లెక్ట్ ద సెంట్రల్ రోల్ ఆఫ్ ద కస్టమర్ ఫర్ ద స్ట్రాటజిక్ పొజిషనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ కంపెనీ ఒక కంపెనీ ఒక మంచి ప్లేస్ లో నిలబడడానికి కస్టమర్ ఎంత రోల్ ప్లే చేస్తారు ఎంత రోల్ ప్లే చేస్తారు ప్లే చేస్తారు సో ఇట్ ఎన్ కంపాసెస్ ఆల్ మెజర్స్ ఫర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద కస్టమర్ 
and for exploiting uh, this knowledge to design and implement marketing activities align uh, production and uh, coordinate the supply chain so first they need to understand the customer's behavior customer's attitude etc etc they need to understand first all the things and based on this they can able to improve their business so crm gains in importance for companies that serve multiple groups of customers and exploit different interaction channels further so here crm is broadly used as term and covers a wide variety of functions so what are all the functions under crm it is marketing automation sales force automation contact uh, center uh, management etc etc all these belongs to the comes under crm only so data mining helps marketing professionals improve their understanding of customer behavior so how we can improve how how we can improve the understanding of customer behavior in sense from that also we want the data mining so in turn uh, this better understanding allows them to target the marketing campaigns more accurately and to align companies more closely with needs wants and attitudes of customers and prospects so customer to uh, interaction customer to good relation maintain just to all the data and equal collection of all the data so a group customers so elanti trends ekku avasaru alanti telusukunte alanti ready chestaru ledu ee product oka release ayindi vaatu opinion set chestuntaru ledu ante oka movie release ayindi customer customer ante mana audience chestu untaru ela undi movie ani adugutunte so based on all that data and we are providing some reviews to the movie also reviews kaadu mana emaina comments pettam anukondi movie so all that data can be helpful for the directors and the producers so elanti ki customers score untunaru సో నెక్స్ట్ మూవీని మనం ఎలా ఇంప్రూవ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఎలాంటి ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ మనం మూవీలో ఇన్వాల్వ్ చేయొచ్చు ఇప్పుడు అంతా క్రూయల్ గా అయిపోతున్నారు కదా జనాలు మీలాగా సో మీలాంటి ఆడియన్స్ ఉంటే సో క్రూయాలిటీ ఎక్కువ కావాలి నా మూవీలో అలా ఉంటేనే ఇలా ఫైవ్ ఇయర్ ఐటీ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎక్కువ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ గా చూస్తారు సో అలాంటి ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ నేను నా మూవీలో పెంచు పెట్టుకోవాలి సో అలా బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద కస్టమర్ రిలేషన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అండ్ ఆ డేటాని అనలైజ్ చేయడం ద్వారా వాళ్ళ బిజినెస్ ని పెంచుకోవచ్చు so this is all about uh, uh, applications uh, out of eight i have discussed four now and in the next class we will discuss the four uh, remaining two so uh, monday nunchi next of the classes so revision chestanu first unit second and third unit so i will try to finish this uh, applications in the next class session so kindly cooperate with me ee class pichukuntu pichukuntu unte time anta daante sarpothundi kada so next class lo nenu remaining four applications complete